let me go across my room and do this stupid intro really quick. Okay. everyone welcome to animation meme review the best show on the internet note to editor oh my fuck. this is a show where i give my opinion on animation memes some people like it some people don't the categories are animation does it have animation five points available in that category is it a meme no breaking news I'm changing the story category. Does it tell a story? No. Kick that out. Does it have a purpose? Not all animation memes have to tell a story. Some are just funny. Yes, no, maybe so. We'll see. By the way, every single animation meme that has gotten a low score for story has not had a purpose, just so you know. Art! Is it artful? Probably not. Let's take a look at our <laughs> first me! This is called Suki Suki Animation Meme. Dragon Fox Russian Text. This is my first meme. Yes, I know that it is already obsolete, but I really like it. She's chasing after the boy. Mm. Oh jeez. She wants that penis. This meme starts off with this bitch petting a cat and this penis man arrives. This walking penis arrives and then her wings flap, but she's wearing a she's she's wearing a dragon costume for some reason, but somehow the wings can flap. Okay, then he slides to the right while she tries to capture him, and then she does a couple dance moves for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> and then stares at him with binoculars, does some more dance moves. Her eyes look like fried eggs also, especially here. Oh my god. Egu egu. Daddy. And then she spies on him while he's asleep. I bet you if the main character here was, if, if this was a man and this was a woman, all the comments would be like, that is so misogynistic, rape, ah! But since it's the other way around, it's a double standard, you know? Let's look at the comments, shall we? There's no comments that are worth reading. For animation, this one gets a one out of five. A one out of five, because there is a tiny small amount of animation right here with the wings flapping. And there's a couple frames of animation with every pose change there and the dancing. And that's the extent of the animation. The rest of it is just, uh, it's, it's really weird having this, this dancing juxtaposed with the, the sliding to the right uh, that that guy does. And the arms just kind of like moving in that way. It's very strange contrast. I don't like it. The animation here during the dancing is not terrible. It's not the best, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. And for this being your first animation meme, it's pretty good. Is it a meme? <laughs> no, not a meme. Zero out of five. Does it have a purpose? Does it have a purpose? It does, the purpose is to convey this bitch wants to have this man as her man friend. The most generic story you can possibly tell. I like this boy. I want him to like me too. But yes, it does have a purpose, but at the same time, it's conveyed rather poorly. You have him just hover here, and then she hovers there, and then he's hovering to the right, and then she starts dancing. Why, why does- there's no reason that she would start dancing. It makes no sense. And then she's raping him right here. Is that- 
Is that furry porn in that picture? I think it's furry porn. Oh my god, a drop of soda just spilled on my leg. Oh my god. And it looks like urine. Look at this. Two out of five. The purpose is very generic. It's very shallow. She's wanting this man penis to love her. Very generic. It doesn't go any more in depth than that. Very shallow. And it's conveyed not very well. Two out of five. Art! Does it have art? Yes, it does. It's not the worst ever by any means. Not the best either, but it's definitely better than most that I would see. I'm gonna give this a solid 3.7 out of five for art. 3.7 out of five. Definitely better than a lot of other art that I've seen in animation memes, but it's not the best. 3.7 out of five. This one gets a dislike from me. But let me say this. This is your first meme, as indicated by your description. This is a fantastic start for a first meme. Everyone's like, Parker, why are you so mad to all these animators that are just starting up? And the answer is I'm not, you morons. I'm mad. When people like Ginger Ninja, like Stariat, so on and so forth, never improve. They just reach a certain number of subscribers, they reach a certain number of subscribers and stop improving. And then their art never increases in quality. That's what I can't stand. Beginning artists, as long as I'm seeing improvement, good. If I stop seeing improvement, no, no, bad. Doesn't change the fact that this animation meme is not very good. But for a start, it's very good. It's a very good start. And if we see improvement, then that's good. That's what I want to see is improvement. Next meme! <laughs> this next one is from Ghostface Nicole, who asked me to expose her. Hey Parker, could you expose me too? I mean, seriously, colon D, colonoscopy. I am actually close to publishing a new animation meme that you could review, and it's not copyrighted too. Good! The meme I'm working on has a storyline and its own backgrounds, and I would honestly be interested in hearing your opinion, since you always want an animation meme with something that isn't repetitive and tells a story. Colon zero. And I said, send me a link when it's done! Here it is! It is done! Let's give it a watch! Ghost me- <coughs> Meme. <coughs> that I have for you, Ghostface Nicole. Is your character a boy or a girl? <laughs> I seriously cannot tell. Not that it matters. That was the most abrupt ending I've ever seen in my life. Ah, Parker, symbolism is a core keystone of literature. Ah, why do you hate symbolism? I hate symbolism because it's an unnecessary barrier between your intended message and the audience. It's a barrier, the barrier of symbolism. For example, why the hell does this character have a nosebleed? That's symbolizing something, right? But what other context clues are there to tell us what it means? There's nothing. There has to be some deeper meaning, but what the hell is it? How are we supposed to know based off just what we see? If we go to the description here, story behind this, cream pie struggles falling asleep. He made his house, his house, his house. That's great, but I shouldn't have to read the description to know that. It should be in the animation meme itself. Imagine this is a Disney movie and you have to read the back of the VHS box to understand something very important about the characters. Parker, you never give actual constructive criticism. You just tell people that they're bad. Ah, offer suggestions. Here's a suggestion for you. Begin the meme with this character killing people. This character is taking lives away from people and those are the ghosts. Show them being killed and make the color of their skin correspond to the color of the ghosts. There's a yellow one, a white one, and a, a purple pink one. And it would be self-explanatory at that point that that is what happened in the story, that those ghosts are coming back to haunt him. Without that there, these ghosts just, they're just ghosts. There's your suggestion. <clears throat> For animation, this meme gets a 2.8 out of five. There's a lot of animation but not that much. <laughs> the eyes opening, the head turning, uh, the clock moving is animation. Okay, this is animation. But there's a lot of empty space that is just not animation or it's repeated animation. Like this is repeated, it's all repeated, okay. 
There's a big giant. This is just sliding. That's not animation, right? The, the parts with a actual animation are good. I like this animation, but it just doesn't exist through most of the meme. And I've never liked tweening. I've never liked it. I've never liked it because it just looks dumb. <laughs> Your animation's good, Ghostface Nicole. Just do more of it, please. Just do more of it. Hidden scoring system! Oh, oh geez. geez, hidden scoring system. This hidden one's a new scoring one. system. Here's a hidden one. Lovely hidden before. scoring oh, system. Geez. The characters are not dancing in time with the music. Minus five. Disgusting. One of my biggest pet peeves with animation memes that I didn't bring up with a lot of other ones that I reviewed recently. There's a lot of this, and I hate it, and it's lazy. Look at this. Let's just let's just watch this together with the music on. Watch this ghost dancing and listen to the music. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't match up. It doesn't match up. I don't believe in ghosts. I, I don't believe in ghosts. Every time I'm clapping, there should be, the character should be moving from side to side every single time I'm clapping. Instead, is it a meme? No, zero out of five. Doesn't have a purpose. It tries to, it tries to have a purpose. But once again, the symbolism is so convoluted, you can't understand the story unless you read the story in the description, which is never where the story should be. There shouldn't have to be a description of the story. It should all be described within the meme itself. 0 0.2 out of 5 for purpose. Is there art? Yes, there is art. The art is the saving grace of this animation meme. It's very good sometimes. This is beautiful. I love the shading. I love the lighting. I love this door in the background. I love it. It's just very pleasing to the eye. There are parts that have really good art like this, and there are parts that have, it just looks so much more mediocre without the shading. If the whole animation meme was this style and nothing had shading, it might work. If you combine them together though, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It's weird. The part that has good art like this gets a 4.8 out of 5, but the whole meme together gets a 3. If the whole thing was consistent, you get a 4.8 out of 5. This one gets a dislike from me. That being said, Ghostface Nicole is awesome, you guys. Awesome. Ghostface Nicole is one of my patrons on Patreon. That does not save you from an honest review, though, as you can see. <laughs> Unlike most of these dumbass animation memers like Jinja Ninja, Stariat, Jinja Ninja didn't respond, but Stariat threw a fit. You know, a lot of them throw a fit when you have someone reviewing them, negatively. They throw a fit, like, oh my gosh, oh geez. But ever since I've been reviewing other people, Ghostface Nicole has been on board, has been awesome. So kudos to you for being a good sport and being a good person. Same with Scootaloo Love Sans. Scootaloo Love Sans handled my review of her so great. It's okay to have a bad animation meme. I've had terrible YouTube videos. It's bad when you just stop improving. That's when it's bad. Make all the bad memes you want. As long as each one is better than the last one, that's fine. Just keep improving. That's all I'm asking. Thank you so much for watching this animation meme review. Oh, remember how I said Ghostface Nicole is a patron? You can be too for just a dollar a month on Patreon, link down below. Without my lovely patrons, I would not be able to make this any, all the more possible than it is currently. So thank you, everyone who supports me on Patreon. Just a dollar a month is all it takes, that's $12 a year. That's like the price of a cement brick for your house. Just take one brick out of your house and sell it and you've supported me for a whole year. Don't forget to follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links down below. And check out my second channel. Oh, whoa, what's this? All my traveling adventures are listed and posted there. Oh, look, it's the boy. Guess whose food came in? What? Is not, it's not, yeah, no, it's yeah. not your, please don't touch that. That's trash. If you'd like to submit your own animation meme to animation meme review, use hashtag PKAMR on Twitter. Hashtag PKAMR. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, everyone. See you next time. Bye.